Hey, Grandpa, can you grab the door for me? Uh, no, thanks. <laughs> Guys, how hot do I look in this jacket, huh? <laughs> this is a genuine Dolce & Gabbana knockoff. <laughs> Not like those knockoff knockoffs we sell. You look like a bouncer at a Greek disco. <laughs> Uh, you're a little overdressed for the flea market, aren't you, Del? Still going, right? Well, Donnie, here's the thing about that. No, no, don't do this to me, man. I've been waiting six months to get us a spot at the Pasadena flea market. How can you get so excited about something that has the word flea in it? <laughs> Forget that flea market, man. But Pasadena is the fancy one. Not like that one of the Spanish driving where the cops show up and everyone scatters. <laughs> You got to dream bigger, bro. I got a line on a deal that's going to make us so rich, you might actually become attractive to women. You got to trust me on this one, Donnie. I'll trust you like I did with a storage unit you said was filled with collectibles but turned out to be filled with tubs of hair. You don't know, this, this could be George Washington's hair for all we know. Although, this thing does not smell human. Anything about business, man. Business is about profits and losses, ebb and flow. See, you still got a lot to learn about our very complicated industry. You complicated industry? We buy crap and sell crap out of the back of a crappy car. Dude, we're basically the Latino Sanford and Son. I want more than that. Yeah, me too. I want to sleep in my own bed without Donnie. Oh, oh. So now everybody wants their own bed. So what's next? Toilet paper in the bathroom instead of restaurant napkins? <laughs> Bunch of ingrates. Unbelievable. After everything I've done for the two of you. I can't believe this, Gramps. Who took you in when your career as a stuntman ended because William Shatner ruptured your testicle and a set of T.J. Hooker? I can't wear underwear anymore. Shatner took that from me. And Donnie, who gave up his youth to take care of you when mom died and dad went out to sign us up for karate and never came back? <laughs> Come on, just trust me. Let's go to the bar. I'm telling you, this deal's going to change our lives, man. Come on, everybody's going. You too, Gramps. Come on. Okay. I'll put my pants on. Ah! Donnie, I don't understand. How could you want more when our workday starts at noon and this, this is our office? I don't think you're making the point you think you are. Hey, Jackie! Who's that? I can't believe it. It's my old stunt buddy, Papa. Oh, yeah. Weren't you guys Cagney and Lacey stunt doubles for a while? Yeah, we had to gain weight every year to keep up with those girls. Donnie, open up your pockets, quick. Open up your pockets. Oh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Drop them, Del. They're bar naps, not butt wipes. <laughs> if there's a more beautiful hooch peddler in Van Nuys, then I have not met her. Why the hell did I ever divorce you, Ruby? Because you sold my wedding ring for a truckload of ostrich meat. <laughs> okay, okay, to be fair, those ostriches were alive when I bought them, okay? You haven't paid your tab, cash only. Fair enough. I'm feeling flush right now. In what world do you think I would ever touch that sock? All right, if you won't serve me, at least serve Donnie. He's like the son you never gave me. That's because someone finishes before they start. Hi, Donnie, what would you like? I have a beer. He'll have two. <laughs> and a sambuca. I've been thinking maybe it's time I start exploring some other career options. Those two words and that hair do not go together, bro. <laughs> no, you're wrong. My friend Gina in Seattle runs a software company that makes apps. I could get a job with her. I got an idea for this app that predicts if your baby's gonna be sexy or a dog. <laughs> I call it sexy or dog. <laughs> okay, bro. Listen to me, desk jobs are for suckers, okay? I mean, I mean, look at that guy, you see that guy? He used to have it all, the fancy job, the hot wife, till he got laid off and he lost it all. Hey, how's it going, Ron Kimona? Ah, oh, it's going great, Del. How's it really going? Well, I'm just wondering if this tie can hold the weight of my dangling body. <laughs> so sad. Donnie, it's a long fall to the bottom, my friend. 
but not for us, because we live on the bottom, Donnie. <laughs> we are the lords of the bottom. <laughs> that sounds like a gay porn. <laughs> Donnie, focus, focus. Okay, now the economy's going belly up, and people are going to need the damage and discontinued items that we sell, and we're going to be there to clean up, baby. I know, I know we're sitting on what seems to be tubs of hair, but... Uh... <laughs> It won't be long before we're swimming in champagne and making love to models like a couple of rappers or governors do. I knew it. Nothing but screws and breath mints. Hey, remember we were shooting every which way but lose? Uh -huh. You got drunk and punched out the orangutan. Yeah. And I made that monkey my bitch. <laughs> Are you guys still working? Well, I am. I'm doing a stunt driving gig out at the car show this Saturday. I can't believe it. God, I miss flying through a windshield. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I will never forget running out of breakaway bottles on the set of Stroker Ace, and Jackie goes up to Burt Reynolds and says, Use real bottles. <laughs> hey, I'll bet you could still do it. Go ahead. Show these guys how it's done, Jack. Ah, uh, I'd love to, but... Too bad we don't have a bottle. <laughs> Yay. Mm -mm -mm. After I make this deal, Donnie, I'm going to buy that woman a boat. And I'm going to sail that boat around the world doing it to her. Forget it, Del. Arminian Minnie's crazy, and if you touch her, her father will put a knife in your face. I totally hear you. I'm going to go say hi. <laughs> Well, I'll never be a full partner. You have no respect for my opinion. I respect it. I just don't listen to it. It's two very different things. That sounds just like our wedding vows. <laughs> Make me a partner. You're not ready. Would you please tell him? Sure he is. Would you stay out of this? This is a family matter. Ruby is family. She practically raised me. She was my room mother in third grade. Both times. <laughs> Come on, Dal. The kids earned it. Just make him a fake partner in your fraudulent business. I mean, I don't see what it could possibly hurt. Well, thank you, Ruby. Don't you have some vomit to clean up somewhere? Uh, mm -hmm. Hilarious. <laughs> you know, I actually do. <laughs> well? All right, all right, all right. I hereby anoint you full partner in Toronto Worldwide Imports with all the rights and powers they're in of. You happy? <laughs> all right, all right, Donnie. Trigger's a very shrewd operator, so just, just let me do all the talking, all right? Trigger? Yeah, I hate that guy. He acts all gangster, but his real name is Gary Lipschitz. Hey, don't you ever call him that, okay? Oh, well, here he is. What? She swag, right? Ah. You know what? Lied. Oh my god, this is killer, baby. What's up? Donnie, check it out. Is this killer or yep. what? Hey, look at this thing. It's incredible. Uh, all right, just just make me an offer. Pass. Say what? <laughs> I said pass, Gary. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I know you didn't no, just no, call no, me no, Gary. No, 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 no. Let me do the talking, all right? I just take it easy. Are you out of your mind? What are you doing? Man, we're not buying a monster truck DeLorean. Are you kidding me? Donnie, this is a one-of-a-kind item. It represents everything Americans love. Back to the Future and monster trucks. Donnie, this brings together hipsters and rednecks. Not even Obama could do that, Donnie. This car, this car could save America. But we're partners, right? Yeah. That means that both of us have to agree before we make a deal. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Don't tell me you're still mad at me. This just happened five minutes ago. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you destroy America. Listen, ladies, let's talk any more driving to the hospital. You know, it might be the glass of my skull, but this car looks terribly familiar to me. I I'm telling you, the monster truck DeLorean would be perfect for your daughter's bat mitzvah. Yeah, it's about five grand a day. Well, too much? Well, what if I said little Ruthie could drive it? Well, she's a woman now. She's 13, right? Hello? 
Hello? Hello? Damn it. I see your concussion has caused you to dress like a gay astronaut. My old jumpsuit still fits. That bottle of the head invigorated me. I only had to get up to pee twice last night. And the stream was strong, my friend. Strong. You know that image is going to haunt my dreams. Uh, hey, where's Donnie? He's still mad? Not for long. I let him use the DeLorean to run errands, and I guarantee you, driving that thing around is going to cheer him up. <laughs> Tricky to parallel park. <laughs> That's your car, huh? <laughs> car's a nightmare. The interior smells like burnt diapers. Come on, Donnie, you gotta relax. I'm telling you, this DeLorean's gonna pay off big. How, Del? Well, the state fairs, carnivals, quinceaneras. Uh. And if they make a Back to the Future 4 using monster trucks, then baby, we are set for life. <laughs> Right, Back to the Future 4. Christopher Lloyd's probably dead. <laughs> yeah, I think he is. I've had it, Del. Calm down, you're getting to that place where I'm gonna have to dim the lights and hum to you. <laughs> Somebody calm down, I'm not a child. You're the height of a child, and you can't get on certain roller coaster rides. <laughs> You are a dumb, stupid, awful businessman, and you have no respect for Donnie, me. Donnie, you're my brother. I respect you. Then prove it. Sell the DeLorean. That's not going to happen. <laughs> then I'm out of here. Fine. Go. 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 You know you can't do anything on your own. You can't even tie your shoelaces. You're still using Velcro. <laughs> well, maybe it's time I learned. <laughs> Go, go. I would love to see you survive one day out there without me. Yeah, and you're not going to make a dime off that DeLorean. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, that got really heated. You want to talk about it? I'm not in the mood right now, Gramps. And could you please take a couple of steps back? <laughs> I can see your heartbeat. <laughs> what are you doing? Pepper inspired me to get in shape again. I'm fine tuning my guns. With lady weights? Hey, Donnie's not back yet. I'm getting worried. Ah, uh, Andre the Not Giant will be back. He's just off sulking somewhere. Oh, see, see, there he is. There he is. Oh, I thought vampires needed an invitation before they could enter. Unless it's Satan's house, then they can come in whenever they want. Jackie, here's the thigh blaster you wanted. Oh. Actually, let me see that for just a second. Oh, wow! What was that for? For being a bona fide idiot. Donnie called, told me about your fight. You know he's on his way to Seattle. Well, good, good, good riddance. His hair's always clogging up the sink and the toilet and the, the ceiling fans. Oh, you are so full of it. You used to tell me you loved Donnie like he was your own child. You cried like a girl. I said that to get into your pants. <laughs> You cried for 45 minutes. It was kind of a turn-off. <laughs> Look, you and your brother are both colossal idiots. Am I right, Jackie? Yeah, that tracks. You are a stupid freight train of bad decisions. And Donnie is the sad little conductor that keeps you from going off the rails. So sell that DeLorean and get your brother back. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I never once had an orgasm with you. <laughs> Now, why did you need to say that? I didn't. <laughs> She's right. 
You're a stupid freight train. <laughs> Am I? Am I? We'll see how stupid I am when that DeLorean makes me a mint. Because let me tell you something. I don't need Donnie Trotter around to help me make excellent decisions. Take it easy. Take it easy, Mindy. Oh, my God. Oh! Is that the way you want it? Maybe you don't have the balls to handle me. Oh, I got him. And if you let go, we can get this party started. Oh, 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 God. Oh, my God. I cannot catch a break. No! Oh my god! Oh, you crazy lady, you bit my tongue! You bit my tongue! Hey, help me! Help me, Ron Kamora! Help me! I'm not in the struggle of my me. own right now. Woman. Try the window! Thank you! Thank you! Oh god! Oh my god! If you go, I'll do what daddy you molested me! Yeah, I'll take my chances! <laughs> I got my car show in two hours. Jackie, what's up? I got something to say, and I want you to really listen. Oh, my God, you're dying. I knew it. I knew it. The pasty skin and the milky eyes. I'm not dying. Milky eyes? No, oh, I feel good. I want to get back into the stunt game. <laughs> Your stunt days are over. You're wrong. I'll prove it. Come on. Hit me as hard as you can. Look, Jackie, if I did hit you, I'm afraid you'd explode into dust. Now I gotta go. Oh. Oh. Jackie, what are you crazy? Don't you bite me! Don't bite me! By the way, Burt Reynolds never liked you. You dirty liar. <laughs> what the hell happened in here? I knocked up around with a muffler. Where are your pants, son? I left them in a men's bathroom along with my dignity and a piece of my tongue. Oh. Hey, what's the matter? You okay, Gramps? I feel like crap. I cost Pepper his driving gig. My life used to be about adventure. Now it's about my growing addiction to stool softener. <laughs> I gotta face facts. I'm old. And that's that. Ah. Uh, so, Pepper's gig is available? <laughs> if they got a booth over there, fry anything. Fry my fiber bar. It's great, Graham. <laughs> it's just great. God, I wish Donnie could see this, huh? Mm -hmm. I told you this dollar was going to pay off. Okay, Mr. Trotter, are you ready to go over the specifics for the event? Yes, yes, absolutely. I do want to reiterate that I got to get paid in cash because I'm in between banks right now. <laughs> you already told me several times, <laughs> sir. Okay, so here's the plan. You right. drive around, you get chased by Robosaurus. Ro Robo who now? Robosaurus, the car-eating robot dinosaur. Just relax, okay? <laughs> Seriously, it's all for show. No one actually gets hurt, <laughs> ideally. Thanks. Hey, Grams, you got any good stuntman advice for me? Huh? Sure, you're a stuntman, but you're not. See you in the hospital. Yeah, watch you preach. All right, time to ride, time to ride, baby. Here we go, taking it to the edge, Del. Hey, Ruby, Ruby, D don't try to stop me now, all right? Look, I can see this is really upsetting you, so I'm not going to go through with it. Come on, let's go home. Oh, God, how I miss your cowardice. Look, Donnie called me, and I think it's very important for you to make up with your brother before you get swallowed by a robot dinosaur. And also, I really want to see you get swallowed by a robot dinosaur. <laughs> Donnie, get over here! I just came home to get my stuff, okay? 
Seattle job starts Monday. Oh, yeah? So how's it going up there? Good. Almost too good. Got an office on the beach. Met a stripper. She's blonde all over. And had a foursome on top of the Space Needle. Worked out good? You're such a liar. Space Needle's not even in Seattle. Damn it. <laughs> yes, it is. Damn it! Okay, this is just gonna get stupid. How about I buy you lunch, Jackie? Great. See you in the months later. <laughs> all right. So where have you really been? The chain sock only got me halfway. I guess you're right. Can't do anything on my own, huh? No, that's not true. I'm the one that can't do anything on his own. Look, Donna, you were right about a lot of things, especially this DeLorean. I don't know. I guess I guess we're just better together, huh? Are you just saying that because you're afraid to drive this alone? Mostly. <laughs> but look, if I'm going to die, there's nobody I'd rather do it with. Partner. Hey, Triggs. Give me that helmet. Oh, so I'm out? Damn, I jimmied off my ankle monitor to come out here. <laughs> And now for our main event, Monster Truck DeLorean versus Robo Forum. <laughs> this is awesome. I know, I know. I feel like a Roman gladiator. <laughs> but first, give it up for our sponsor, Armenian Brandy's Palm and Golden Florio. <laughs> you did it. Of course I did. Why don't you ever listen to me? From now on, if we live, 